minutes of round town with Mandy, and I've made my way back up to Sellersville to the Sellersville Meat Locker. And as you can see in the video that you're about to watch, they've expanded, they've added on, and they've added to the cases. Let's go in, meet some of the staff, check out some of the rooms, and see some good old fashioned meat. Let's go. So I've made my way into the meat locker. And as you can see, things have expanded, added, and lots of new. And I'm here with Lauren. Lauren, how are you? Good, Mandy, how are you? So, so much has happened since my last trip. But tell us, you have a little thank you you'd like to give out, and then we're gonna tour the meat locker and see what's new. Yeah, so um, we would just like to say thank you to everybody that has um, waited in long lines or supported us throughout the COVID the past three years. It's been a tad crazy, but we all survived. Um, we have expanded. Um, and it's just crazy. We are so very thankful to, for our community and for our customers. Yes, and so much has added. Like we were saying, we've expanded, we've added new coolers, Correct. a lot of new things on the menu, specials, all kinds of new specials, lots of new items. We've got lots of items, so we're gonna tour. Let's make our way through the meat locker and see what's new and what's in the cases. Okay, let's go. So Lauren, here we're in the cutting room. Everything's going on. We've got a big team here. That is correct. So on the stall is my brother, um, Dylan. Uh, and also on the table are his um, cut meats, I guess I could say. Um, Mark's been here for a while, probably at least 20 years. Okay. Um, we are actually excited to announce that my cousin Benjamin is going to be adding, be added to the team. Um, this is where all the cutting takes place. Um, we cut all the beef and the hogs here. Um, so those beef that you've seen back in the Angry. cooler yep. um, are actually going to be brought up here. They'll be broke down, and then we will um, cut them here. Um, each beef is cut separately. Okay. We do private labeling as well, um, and we have two inspectors on site. Yeah. Um, so that's a big, um, it's that's very essential to those that's selling at retail at farmers markets or right. across. And the, they're here on staff all the time. Correct. Yep. Monday through Friday from uh, eight to five. Nice. So Dylan, how long have you been working in the meat locker? Uh, probably since I was born, but technically probably about 10 to 15 years. 15 years. And you're in the cutting room. Yeah. So that's, that's where we job. are. Yep. So obviously we can see we're cutting up meat today. So yes, tell us a little about, you guys cut meat, what, Monday? We cut uh, our custom meat Monday through Friday okay. and retail on Saturday, which we sell to the public. So tell a little bit about, people don't understand, I'm new to this, but I'm learning Retail meat means I can come in and ask you for a specific cut. Yes, ma'am, and we can get you anything you need. So as Lauren was mentioning, you've added on several places, and one of the behind-the-scenes room people don't usually see, this is an added on. Yes, ma'am, this is a new hanging floor we have. It's uh, 20 by 40, and we hang, as you can see, all our halves of beef. And just with the big COVID demand and everything like that, more people are trying to get stuff killed. So we kill about 30 to 40 beef a week. A week. A week. A week. Wow. So I have to ask, since you're in the cutting room, what's your favorite cut of any meat? If you had to pick one cut, what would it be? I'm a steak man. I like beef. And what's your favorite steak? Probably Delmonico or filet, but I wouldn't count out that flat iron either. And grilled, like a grilled or uh, good old grilled, cast iron? Grilled all the way. Grilled all the way. Yeah, you're grilling a steak in the oven. So there you have it. The meat man has spoken steak and it's got to be grilled. So one of the rooms we're in is the smoke room, right Lauren? That is correct. So this room is ran by my cousin Matt. Um, he is has been with us for about five years now. He does all of the pumping of the hams and the bacons um, that we sell in the store as well as um, if you bring a hog in here like Dylan's cutting, he will pump and cure those hams and bacon and then we put them in the smoker. Um, as you see in the video of them coming out of the smoker. Also in this room, he does the snack sticks. Um, he does our sweet bologna, our summer sausage, um, marinated items. As you see, my other cousin Lee is um, making ground beef patties. We have four ounce, six ounce, eight ounce patties, bacon cheddar, blue cheeseburgers, sausage patties, ground chicken patties. We also do um, specialty items back here, such as marinated chickens as well. So one of the other items well known here at Tellersville Meat Locker is the Scrapple. So of course we're in the Scrapple room. Lauren, behind us is cooking Scrapple. Tell us, how much Scrapple do you guys make? So we make a pot of Scrapple every single day, which we normally make about 2,000 pounds a week. Um, we sell it through our retail store and we also sell it to our wholesale customers. 
And it comes one pound? It comes one pound, two pounds, and it also come, we also make a gluten-free piece. That way, for those that have a gluten allergy. It's available in the cases. Correct. There you have it. One of the perks at Shopping Local here in Sellersville is the rewards program. Tell them about it, Lauren. So the rewards card is $5, or we do have double rewards points days um, where you can get a free card. Um, they will typically be posted on Facebook. So every dollar you spend in the store is a point. So once you accumulate 350 points, which is very easy to do, um, you will get $20 off the next purchase. So buy local, shop local, support local, get your rewards card. The ladies behind us, this is where it all happens. This is the packing section. Yep, this is the packing section. Um, as you can see in the video, the girls are packing um, boneless pork chops for a local farmer running W Farm um, to be sold at a farmer's market or through his farm. Okay. Like I said, we do private labeling. Um, everything is marked with the USDA mark of inspection establishment number 10835. Um, the beef is, is packaged up here. The pork, the lambs, the goats, everything is packaged yeah. up here. And then they have this amazing machine that presses it and seals it. It's awesome. Correct. Yep, and it, then it's boxed and delivered to the oh, customers. Customers, yeah. So as you can see, they've done a little bit of expansion. So we're going to walk the cases, and I'm going to show you a few of the items. As you can see, the first and one of the items is fresh cut beef. That means it's fresh. As you can see, all kinds of Delmonico's and ribs and flank steaks and chuck roasts. We mentioned beef sticks, bologna, ground beef, chicken, duck. They've got duck, that's right, duck. All their smoker fans have got pork butts, spare ribs, sausage. We saw them making the bacon in the back. All kinds of bacon, applewood, smoked, black peppered, but that's not all. Then you come to this side, this runs your frozens. So you, again, you've got your frozen beef, patties, chicken, wings. They've got all kinds of wings. Old Bay teriyaki, chicken feet, so much more. Minute steaks, minute chicken sausage and pork chops bone in and bone less and mesquite pork chops and buffalo country scrapple canadian bacon lamb they've got lamb burger and then these are your front cases frog legs they've got frog legs and muskrats and meatballs and pierogies and potatoes and on occasion ice cream but wait chicken pot pies. They might be one of my favorites, so you can pick up a chicken pot pie or anything else here. And the last case has got your good old seafood and your vegetables. That's right. They've got shrimp and clam strips and breaded oysters and flounder and grouper and tilapia. And again, ground turkey and bacon wrap. They wrap a lot of things in bacon up here in Sellersville. Battered cauliflower, buttered dilled pickle chips, and vegetables. Who can end dinner without a good old vegetable? This is the case. Yep, this is the case. This is where the, our popular Scrapple, we are endorsed by the Scrapple Trail on Facebook. Um, there's the one pound and two pound Scrapples there, um, as well as the link and loose sausage that we've seen being made back in the smokehouse. Um, just a little fun fact, um, the sausage is my great grandmother's recipe. Um, so many customers like knowing that um, little pit of, part of history. And um, so the scrap on the sausage is in one of your known packs, which is the breakfast pack. That is correct. The breakfast pack includes three pounds of scrap, two pounds of link, two pounds of loose sausage, and two pounds of bacon for $29.99. So there you have it. As you can see, they've got a lot going on. Check them out on Facebook. Check out their website. There's always specials. But wait, before you leave, make sure you say hi to my buddy, Bell. So you've made it to the whole Around Town with Mandy episode. And you want me to come to your business? Oh, I'd love to. So look me up on Facebook or send me an email, farmerswife830 at gmail.com, and I'll come to your business and you can be on Around Town with Mandy. Great! See ya! Can you sit down? Bo, sit. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you, Bo. Thank you. Ready? Bo. Oh, we don't like the camera. It's okay. Wait a minute. Look at me. Is my mom in there? Is my mom back there? Bo.